Memory interfacing. Memory is an integral part of microcomputer system. Our focus will be on how to interface a memory chip with a microprocessor. While executing a program, microprocessor need to access memory quite frequently to read instructions and data stored in memory. The interface circuit enables that access. The interface process that involves designing a circuit that will match the memory requirements with microprocessor signal. Memory structure and its requirements. Read or write memory is a group of registers. This figure shows it has 2K registers. Each register store 8 bits. It has 8 input, 8 output lines and 11 address lines that is from AD10 to AD0. One chip select to control lines to enable input and output buffer. It has also an internal decoder to decode address lines. Generally, EEPROMs are used as program memory and RAM as data memory. EEPROM chip must be programmed before it can be used as ROM. This figure shows it has 4K registers. Each register store 8 bits. It has 8 input lines and an internal decoder to decode address lines. It has 12 address lines that is from A11 to A0, one chip select, one read control signal lines to enable output buffer. Basic concepts of memory interfacing. The primary function of memory interfacing is that the microprocessor should be able to read from and write into a given register of a memory chip. To perform these operations, microprocessor should be able to select the chip, to identify the register and to enable the appropriate buffer. Here we have shown the timing diagram of memory read cycle. 8085 places 16 bit address on address bus and with this address only one register should be selected. Internal decoder of chip will identify and select the register for EEPROM. Remaining 8085 address lines that is from A15 to A11 should be decoded to generate chip select. ATT5 provides two signals IO slash M dash and RD dash to indicate that this is memory read operation. It is a control signal that can be used to enable output buffer by connecting to memory signal RD dash. Memory places data byte from address register during T2 and that is read by the microprocessor before the end of T3. Address decoding and memory addresses. The process of address decoding should result in identifying a register for a given address. We should be able to generate a unique pulse for a given address. For example, there are 12 address lines that is from A11 to A0 and are connected to memory chip. Remaining address lines that is from A15 to A12 of A85 microprocessor must be decoded. There are two methods to decode these lines. First by NAND gate and another by using 3 cross 8 decoder. By NAND gate, the output of NAND gate is active and select the chip only when all the address lines A15 to A12 are at logic 1. By using 3 cross 8 decoder, if enable line is active, 8 different logic combination can be identified by the output line and E1 and E2 are enabled by grounding and E15 must be at logic 1. Here we have shown 885 interfacing with memory chips. Here we have shown interfacing circuit using 3 cross A decoder to interface 2732 EEPROM. The 885 address lines that is from a11 to A0 are connected to the pins A11 to A0 of the memory chip. Decoder decode A15 to A12 and output is connected to chip enable which is asserted only when A15 to A12 is 0. One control signal is connected to output enable to enable output buffer. Now to examine how 885 places the address 0FFFH on address bus, the address 0H goes to the decoder, output line O0 of the decoder selects the chip, remaining address lines FFFH goes on address lines of the chip and the internal decoder decodes the address and selects the register FFFH. When RT dash is asserted, the output buffer is enabled and the contents of register are places on the data bus for the processor to read. Here we have shown 8155 memory section block diagram. 
it has eight address lines one gp enable five control and status signals it includes 256 cross eight memory locations internal latch for demultiplexing chip enable and control signals interfacing the 8155 memory segment 8205 a 3 cross 8 decoder decodes the address lines that is from A15 to A11 O4 enables the memory chip control and status signals from 8085 are connected to respective signals of memory chip A7 to A0 address any one of the 256 registers A14 to A50, uh, A15 are active low and third line is permanently enabled by tying it with plus 5 volts A10 to A8 are not connected they are don't care lines O4 is low for uh, low for following address memory address range is from 200H to 20FFH when don't care lines are at logic 0 by convention it is called primary address it's all about the memory interfacing thank you